Very unassuming bus stop here. Spot in the shade. <laughs> Today we're off to the city that I'm not gonna say until we get there because it's very exciting. We weren't sure we were gonna do this city. I saw a pretty reasonable priced hotel. Comparatively, it's the same as like this Heidelberg hotel. The bus was not that expensive. So we are going for one day. We're gonna have to just like do it all in one day as much as we can. Exciting edition of Chris Cam, the most important uh, travel vlogging segment of Libby's channels. It's when she leaves and I can take her camera and start talking to the camera. So yeah, Chris Cam. Hmm. I've been eating something called Ringo Stars. They're, they're like pretzel thing with uh, cream cheese and radish. And I'm always like, why the fuck do they call it a Ringo Star? That's what I've been pondering for the last like 20 minutes, so. The bus from Heidelberg to Luxembourg cost me 20 euros or 30 Canadian dollars. So it's a bit unglamorous, it's literally a parking lot. <laughs> but we are here in uh, Luxembourg. Now we just have to try and find our hotel, it shouldn't be too far. The hotel costs 125 euros a night. So many beers. There's a save. Oh, there's the bar fridge. Oh, yes. Coffee. Amazing. So I am here in the beautiful but small country of Luxembourg. We're technically in Luxembourg City. We are only here for one night, so let's make the most of it today. We crossed along the top of the bridge and then we were just gonna cross back over, but you can actually walk under the upper part, which is kind of cool. There's a bike lane here too, which is nice. Of course, I had to find a souvenir pin, which cost me four euro 60. So I think these are the casements. Uh, they're still closed, you can't actually go into them, but you can come to the top here. It's pretty good viewpoints of the city if you want photos. So we just checked out from our hotel here, the Bell, it's Bell Park, Bell Air Hotel. Uh, and we are heading towards the train station. And if we see anything cool along the way, we're just gonna check it out. On the map, it looks like we can cut through this park here. 
So we're actually right under the bridge that we were on yesterday with the little sus suspension part. We didn't book tickets, so we're not on any kind of like time schedule. So if this is a completely de complete detour that doesn't help, that's also fine. It's really pretty. I was hoping to go that way, but it is gated off. So we gotta see if there's somewhere else we can cross. With a bridge that size, I was expecting, you know, a decent river. It's so tiny. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's just dried out because of the heat waves that we've been having, or it's very, very small. It's kind of an excessive bridge to have. So I did watch a couple of YouTube videos before we came here and a lot of people were saying there's not a whole lot to do in Luxembourg. It's kind of a small city, um, but the green space here is really nice. So if you like like parks, it's nice here. There's some stairs. Nice. I'll go take some photos and you can come up. Okay. So we literally, that's our train that just left. This one's in an hour. The next one's delayed almost half an hour. It'll be here around one o'clock, but then if we get on the RE11, we paid the five euros to get to Trier, and then from Trier, we'd be getting on the exact same train using our nine euro pass, so I don't think we have to pay again. And then we take that same train to Koblenz, and then Koblenz to Cologne. So it's not too bad from Luxembourg on the regionals. So the RV train showed up first, the one that's just going to Trier, not all the way to Koblenz, but we decided to just get on it. We have plugs, we can get some work done, and then when we get to Trier, we'll figure out which train to take next. that actually was coming from the same city we were just in, but we got another seat with plugs, so we're good. We should be in Koblenz in probably an hour. So I'm here in a tiny little station. Well, there's a couple tracks. There's a couple of tracks, but I don't even know how to say it. Twadorf? Twadorf? I have no idea. We're waiting on the S19. We were supposed to take the 27 directly from Koblenz to the airport, but it was delayed. And so my app told me we could take, I forget what train we took here. I forget which one it was. The number eight to here and then the S19 from here. But the S19, we just missed the last S19. So now we're waiting on the next one. Uh, today's just like a bunch of missed connections. The trains here are all delayed or just canceled. I saw a bunch of cancellations on the board. I don't know if it's the nine euro pass or if it's just everybody is traveling for the summer, but the trains are such a mess in Germany right maybe now. Flights? Yeah, oh, I guess maybe if people can't take flights, they're taking trains. I don't know, man. <laughs> We're on the last leg, the subway. Yeah. Also here in Germany, they are still asking that you wear the, they call it FFP2. 
but we know it as the N95 mask. Or medical. Or medical mask. So you still have to wear a mask here on just transit and trains.